Hey guys, welcome to Transport Fever All American Steam. Oh hell yeah. This is an idea that I've had for kind of a little while. It's been percolating around. I wanted to do a, a series that was just Steam. So what we're going to do with this series is we'll go to the end of the Steam era and at that point we'll either end the series or I'll put in the mod that allows you to have all trains forever and we'll carry on doing some steam. But I want this to just be a steam set, like Age of Steam, because I freaking love the steam trains. And to be honest, the American trains post steam, well, to be honest, the coolest ones are the freight trains and we're using those in the Apex series, so like, yeah. So yeah, it's, go it's gonna be all big boys. We're all big boys here, so yeah, come on. Um, so now, I, I know the first question people are gonna be typing, stop typing it. Right, you're going to be saying, oh, does this mean the Apex series is dead? No, it doesn't. I'm still waiting on this freaking CPU from Debauer for my new PC. Okay, so so that is holding up that series. Now, I was going to, I was going to like carry on and just do building or whatever, but like I found in the last episode that I, I want to do the building and then I want to do the rides at the same time. I want to show the game off and, and it's, it's, it's too frustrating. Plus... The amount of time I have to put into an EPEC episode is huge and it's just really, really difficult to get those out like on any kind of regular basis while I'm, while I'm doing all these other games. And let me tell you guys, there's a lot coming up in the next couple of months. Uh, there's, there's Tropico 6, uh, so I've got some big surviving Mars news for you coming up that I can't talk about uh, and, and other stuff as well. So I thought, how about we just start a new transport system a uh, new transport system, a new, a new transport fever series, right, that I can put out on a daily, pretty much a daily basis. It'll be either be on a daily basis or every other day, right, that I can actually guarantee and promise you and actually deliver. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so in this episode, this is like a little preview episode, I want to show you two types of map and I want you guys to choose and I'll put a poll up in the corner um, and you can, you guys will choose the map. Okay, so let me let me tell you what we're going to do. The first type of map is a river valley. And if we use the sea USA, um, we get a fairly good one. I'm actually going to look for a better one, but I think this is good enough to show you. Okay, now we're going to be doing um, a, a custom map. And we're going to be using American vehicles. We're going to be using American buildings, American streets, American environment. But we're going to use European terrain because I don't want to use that kind of brown, dead, Midwest kind of, or well, it's kind of, yeah, I guess it's kind of Midwest-ish sort of thing. So, uh, so we're going to go for a European trees and whatever and terrain. So, yeah. Um, so let's have a look and see what this map looks like because I've come up with two I think really cool maps to play on. Now we're playing on the uh, the one the one by three format, um, and I want the world side to be. Uh, am I going to go for medium or large? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what large looks like. I think I was looking at medium before, but we'll look at large. I, I think I might go for a medium, but we'll see. Let me uh, let me start this map up. And we'll see. So this map seed creates a river valley. Now this one only runs about half the length of the map. Um, I'd actually like to look for one that runs like the whole length of the map. Uh, but it, it means spending a bit of time going through different map seeds and finding exactly the one that I want to use. Um, the same kind of applies to the other map, but I think I've got kind of a cool one for the other map. And they're, they're going to play very differently. And it's going to be interesting which, which one you guys choose. Seriously, I can't wait for the feedback you give me on this. I'm really excited for this series. This is, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so here is the map. Okay, yeah, this is, this is different to the one I had. So I was definitely using medium. Okay, but basically what it's going to be is a map, a long, thin map like this, that's going to have a river valley running all the way up. Okay. What I'd look, I mean, whether I can find one that runs the entire length of the map, I have no idea. But it'd be really cool to have one that runs up this half as well. And then if you think about it, first of all, we're going to have really, really awesome views. Right? Running, running the trains up this valley that just goes on and on and on. We're also going to be able to do a mainline kind of thing. So we'll have a, like a mainline that runs down the river valley. And then we'll have um, like sidelines going off to 
the, the towns on the side, which I think is going to be quite cool. And it's going to allow us to do some fairly interesting things with shipping the industry, you know, the, the materials around. So that is idea. That's idea number one. River Valley. I, I've got to say, I do love the idea of this. But the thing is, I love the idea of both of these maps. So I just can't decide. So that's why I'm going to let you guys decide. But, oh, I can make this look really beautiful. I think I'm going to go for a medium map, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a medium map because the, the, the large map, I'll run into the same problem with that I've got with the um, the APEC map. But I just can't run the damn thing. I and mean, I don't want this series to necessarily last forever. So, so that's map one. Right, let's jump out, back to the main menu. We'll have a look at map type two. So map type two, settings are going to be the same. I'm going to go back to medium. Um, and what do I want? Now this map seed, I think it was USA, uh, USA 1. Is it USA 1? Oh, no, you know what? <clears throat> let's let's look at just a USA. Uh, yeah, let's just look at USA. Okay, so this one is basically split in half by a big lake. And what I was thinking was to create like a couple of ports so maybe a, a port over here. And then all of the goods from one side have to get shipped across to from one port to another port. And, and the ports could be like potentially quite big. And I was just thinking that could be really interesting. Like the ships going backwards and forwards. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. I've just remembered that I found a, I did find a better map. So, so this is this one. I, I am really in two minds. I like this idea of, of, you know, a busy, a busy lake with loads of stuff going backwards and forwards. I mean, there can even be multiple ports, you know. And I can look for, um, I can look for variations of this map that maybe have like more towns closer to the, closer to the, the edge of the lake and stuff. So yeah, but I want to go back. I want to show you the medium map because I found another. I just remembered that I found another medium map when I was going when I was playing around with this. So if we go back to the main menu and we go free game and we go um, same, but this time USA one, this was the one that gave me the, the good map. Right. I think this is there. Yeah, this is more like it. Right. So this one's really cool. So we've got, we've got basically a river Valley that runs like the entire length of the map. We've got a nice big lake here. And then we go on to more river valley. And there's lots of nice towns dotted along the river, which is really cool. And then we go up to another big lake. Some nice mountains on the side, very picturesque. Right, so we've got like an entire river valley map. And then I started thinking about it and I was thinking, because I'm going to use the, the industry mod. Uh, not the not the new industry mod, but the mod that just allows you to, to place in industry so that I can move industries around. And I was thinking, for example, for ex okay, for example, we've got an oil well there, right, right next to El Paso. I'd like to like delete that one. I'm going to move them. I'm not going to create new ones, but I'll move them. So I was thinking, maybe we move the oil like down here, right, and create like a an oil field. Right, and then we ship the stuff up the map. I thought that could be quite cool. And then I thought, oh, hang on a second. You know what? No, you know what we should have here? We should have a blooming great like quarry or something over here. Produce all of our stone gets produced from here. We could have, we could have a couple of quarries up there and a couple of quarries down here. And a nice big quarry port shipping the stone out. And then of course the stone can get shipped out up here. And we can have uh, a nice railway line running up the entire map. We can have ships. Shipping stuff up. And we do like our ships. I think we all like our ships. And because I'm doing a long thin thin map, we can also have some uh, some airplanes flying around. And I think rather I don't know, rather than doing passenger airplanes, I'm thinking of maybe using the cargo airplanes more more than maybe shipping some stuff by uh, by airplanes. Maybe, maybe. Um, if we do do that, it's going to be the very, very basic airplanes. It's not going to be like 747s and whatever. It's going to be the, the like the really small little airplanes shipping some stuff up. Which probably, I don't know, that probably won't work. 
But I, like, I don't really care about the airplanes in this one. This is all about the steam trains and the steamships. I do love the steamships. So, so yeah. So like, if we we're going to do the stone here, maybe we'd like pick a nice area where we can have a nice big forest, and and and, and like, I don't know. Like for example, like I'm probably going to be well, I'm, I'm going to be doing the same thing with putting the trees up on the mountains. Uh, you know what? I need to use the glacier mod. So I'll be switching to using the glacier mod for this, which is going to look so much better on the mountains. The mountains will look kind of awesome. So, yeah. That, that idea of kind of centralizing the, the resources. So, like, have like uh, maybe like for the lumber, maybe have like a couple of big forests or whatever. And that's where all the lumber comes from. And we'll have like an oil field somewhere and that's where the oil comes from and have, I don't know. I mean, farms, I suppose we'll maybe have a bit scattered, but, but you get the idea, right? Yeah, like I, same, iron mines. Maybe we have like a couple of sources of iron, you know, up in the mountains or whatever. It's like, is this, is this appealing? Is this appealing to you? And of course, it's all going to be those big, beefy, beautiful American steam trains. None of none of you European rubbish. Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna be all it's gonna be all big, huge, ridiculous looking, beautiful steam trains. You know, I'm already getting ideas about this place and thinking, oh, I could do that and I could do that. Oh, and thinking about climbing up into the mountain. Like this is really cool up here. Oh, this could be a new Chudley Valley. Who knows? Who knows? So, guys, I just wanted to give you this pr quick preview, get you to choose the map, and then I'm going to work on this um, work on this tonight, and you should have the first episode tomorrow. I see no reason why you shouldn't have the first episode tomorrow. So, poll up in the in the top right-hand corner. Place your vote. What would you prefer? Do you prefer the River Valley, or do you prefer the uh, the split map with the big lake? I, I seriously, I can see, I can see good things coming from both. I suppose if I had to choose, then I'd choose, but not tell you until after I've, after you've chosen, because <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to influence the influence you. You choose. Do we go for the for the river valley or the uh, or the the split by lake map? Choose. All right, guys. Uh, if you if you want to suggest mods, if you want to suggest, for example, uh, American steam train mods or any other mods. Then, like, if it's one, fine. Just just send me the link on the, on the Steam Workshop. If you're going to send me a bunch, please put them in a collection. And what I can do then is just add the collection to my collection. I'll put together a new collection for this series. And then I can just add the collection in, in one go, rather than having to go into each link. It, 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 it would save me a huge amount of time. Create a collection. Guys, we're going to leave it there for this little preview. I don't know what... You, I'm excited for this. I'm very excited, and I, I miss playing Transport Fever. Transport Fever is my favourite game, and I want to be playing it. I want it on the ch on the channel every single day. So I think this is a great idea. Let me know what you think. I will catch you for episode one tomorrow. Be there or be square. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.